Hello. So we are back, and this time we have kind of a nice laptop, a little bit older, Lenovo Yoga 370, i5 7 Gen. This job is coming from a local repair shop, no charging. Not a word about no power, but yeah, no charging. So pressing the power button, power button is here, pressing the power button, nothing happened. But yeah, we can say not charging, but actually the laptop is dead. It's no power also. Good. Let's plug a charger. We have the Lenovo, you know, the square one. I think I have one. Yeah, this one. Perfect. We plug in the charger. Huh? Check the power supply. The voltage getting dropped to 2.8 volts. What is this? Huh? Based on the fact the voltage is getting dropped to 2.8 volts, the short, yeah, because we have a short, clearly we have a short, uh, it's after the input circuit, after the first two MOSFETs. If the voltage on the power supply it was like zero, then the short it will be near to the charging port. So, uh, easy pizza? Huh? What do you think? Easy pizza or not? And the laptop, it's open. Wait. Does someone work here? Because disconnect the battery. Possible. The computer shop, they send the laptop. Yeah, possible. Let's check the main power rail. The main power rail, where is it? Hmm? Yeah, just say it. Where is the main power rail? It's pissing me off when the wires, you know, are getting, you know, twisted. So we have the charging port here. We have a fuse. The fuse is fine. Then check here. I can see from here. First MOSFET, second MOSFET, and current sensor. On the current sensor, we have zero ohms. Let's go closer and check. So one more time, we have a fuse from the charging port, for, from the plus. Then you have first MOSFET. It's not short. Second MOSFET. Wait, one second. Why do we have short here? I mean, okay, I understand we have short here, but why here? Because this MOSFET is shorted. We have zero ohms, so check here. So it's not only short on the main power rail, but also it's short. Uh, this MOSFET is shorted. This one, this one is no use. Check here. So we have two MOSFETs, but it's no use. Here is supposed to be a MOSFET, but it's not here. Ha! <laughs> I mean, they didn't fit the MOSFET. Or what was here? Not sure what was here. But we do have two MOSFETs and a current sensor here. Hmm. Okay, so the main power rail is shorted. Now, like usual, let's come with uh, low voltage. I'll plug the charger because the charger it will give me ground, so I can use only one probe. Like one volt. Not sure why the way it's taking current. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Let me grab the thermal camera. So we have the thermal camera coming with current at the current sensor, and it's taking like 900 milliamps, nearly one amp. Uh, you know what? I should come after the current sensor. I should come here. But anyway, there is something hot. Probably on the other side of the board. Yeah, I can't see anything else apart from this. So on the other side of the board, something is getting hot. Something is getting very hot. Let's take the board out and let's have a look there. I will say it is a pizza, but it's not an easy one. I mean, why the short was not on this side of the board? Hmm? And the motherboard, it's out. 
Lol, here is proper melted. Check here. I mean, it was coming hot here, but it's proper melted. Now, what can be here and has that shape? Huh? Your opinion, what can be there and has that shape? You say capacitor? Yeah, it looks like a duck. And what is there? Huh? What is there? Just say it. So what I will do, I'll come with some alcohol. Little bit of alcohol and I'll plug the charger only. Yeah, I'll plug the charger, should be fine. Plug in the charger and rest in the voltage. And check there. Is that little brown prick, right? Yeah, that's the one. Can't believe. We should bring, uh, say hello to my little friend. Or we shall uh, desolder with hot air. Let's take it out with hot air. I mean, look how many capacitors are here. Are like four capacitors. Wow. Plug in the charger. And it's taking no current. Yeah, we fix it. We fix it. Replacing the capacitor? I mean, I can't replace it, but we all know no capacitor, no short capacitor. I mean, you know, we should, uh, we should be grateful we left their free capacitors. I mean, this uh, customer, you know, probably he will come back like three times more. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. We love to see the customer back. What you said? Shorted MOSFET. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Huh? What do you think? Let's forget about that. Yeah. Let's plug the charger and see if it's charging. Plug in the charger, switching to 19 volts. 19 volts. We plug the charger and it's taking no current, nothing. Two amps is charging fine. I mean, what do you want me to repair? It's working fine. Look, check that. Two amps and I can press the power button. You see, we have the charging light. Everything is working fine. Where is the power button? Here. And it's doing nothing because probably I haven't connected the cable. Perfect, and now we have picture. We have picture. That's crazy. It's working fine, right? Yeah, it's loading the windows. I can't believe it's working. Charging fine, working fine. You know what? I'm uh, curious how many people can hold up a secret on this uh, channel. Huh? That will be our secret. Yeah. Remember what I told you to forget. And we have picture. We have picture and it's charging fine. I'm plugging the charger. All good. Low battery. Plugging back the charger. Charging fine. We have like 2.4 amps. If we are checking the <coughs> if we are checking the battery voltage, the battery voltage is going up. Has to go up. Yeah, you can see it's charging fine. I'm assuming the laptop is ready, right? So, what's the story with the MOSFET? The story with the MOSFET is... It's fine, it's not shorted anymore. No, no, it's fine. Well, I'm uh, assuming the MOSFET... Uh, it was showing shorted because of the capacitor. <laughs> you said USB-C? Let's check, let's check. And the USB-C coming on. Yeah, charging fine, check there. 19 volts, 2.1 amps. Yeah, working fine. Now replacing, if we are replacing the MOSFET, we cannot have a pizza.
No, we, do, we don't have enough money for a pizza. Uh, so this is a 60 to 80 pound job. That's mean if they are giving the laptop for 60, I get 30. That's what I'm getting from local repair shops. I mean, with 30 pounds, if we're replacing the MOSFET, about 10 pounds, uh, we cannot get a pizza. No. The laptop is fine, yeah? Let's be our secret. Yeah, let's be our secret. It's our secret. You can't tell to anyone. Actually, you forget you've seen that. Yeah, you haven't seen it. All good. Now let's put the back cover. And I think we are ready. Yeah, all done. Let's test one more time. And yeah, it is working fine and taking 2.4 amps, charging fine, everything is fine. Touchpad working and mouse. Yeah, working. Yeah, all good. Let me shut down. Perfect. So what's the story with the MOSFET? It's no story, but you know, this is from a local repair shop. If we are, uh, if we, if we are splitting the money, we are splitting the work also. So they can replace the MOSFET. I will let them know, you know, you have to replace the second MOSFET and uh, hopefully they will do it. I mean, it's not my problem anymore. Anyway, we fixed it. You've seen uh, how it diagnosed a um, uh, main power rail, a shortened main power rail. I will say uh, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.